Hi, I am Caroline Chang, the host and producer of Awake to Oneness Radio. I launched my show oh, a little over five years ago um, from Spirit Guidance. It was a direct order from Spirit, from my inner self, from my higher self, from my soul guidance to do it. It was the direct order was just do it. <laughs> and that was to launch my show. Um, it was just six months after my son's transition. And I say transition because I know he's very much still with me. He is in spirit, but he is with me all the time. And he has told me he is the co-host of my show and he's very proud of the show. Um, I have been following my spirit guidance since birth, long before I knew I was following spirit guidance. Um, one very, another directive to me was given um, to me um, a few weeks after 9-11, September of 2001. I was clearly directed by my soul, by my spirit, by my higher self, whatever term you want to use, but it was an inner knowing that told me to turn off the news and never turn it back on again. Now, I even asked why? I'm like, why? I had no idea. Again, this is a September of 2001. And I was obedient. I turned off that news and never turned it back on. Um, I didn't find out until many years later, it was actually 11 years later, I didn't find out why I was um, told to do that. But 11 years later, it was actually September 11, 2012. I watched several documentaries about 9-11. Um, it was just something, it was the anniversary, it was the 11th anniversary of 9-11, and I was directed by Spirit again to just see what went on that day. And after I did, I, I realized exactly why I was told not to watch the news anymore. So I, I'm so thankful for my spirit guidance. Like I said, most of the time I get impulses from spirit and I don't know why, but I am thankful. I am always obedient. Now, my show is to inspire people to awaken to the universal truth of oneness because Oneness is all there is. All there is is us. In my last uh, vlog post, I talked about the cabal and how they are our shadow side. I don't think of the cabal as separate because nothing in this universe is separate. It's all one. Now, yesterday, I posted a letter, copy of a letter that I sent to Governor Tom Wolf. I live in the state of Pennsylvania. And again, I don't watch the news at all, believe me. And my neighbors know I don't watch the news. So I got a phone call from a neighbor yesterday telling me that starting this coming Monday, April 20th, that people in the state, in this state of Pennsylvania, have to wear masks. Now, from the beginning of this pandemic and before, my, ver my first vlog, about this pandemic, which was two or three weeks before the shutdown, I urged people not to go in a state of fear, not to allow the mass media to put you in a state of fear. And um, now here we are, mid-April, uh, It's what's today, April 18th, and I'm getting a phone call from my neighbors that, Everybody has to wear masks. Now, when I started seeing people wear masks, I honestly, I only like, I, the, since the shutdown, the shutdown has been for over a month, I go out maybe twice a week to go grocery shopping. That's it. Um, and when I'm in the store and I see people with masks, I tend to back away or move away from them, not because of any fear of a virus. Not at all. I have not an ounce of fear 
in me. And that's the God's honest truth. And I have no fear because I know who I am. I know I am a divine light being of all that is. I am an aspect of the divine. I am an aspect of God. What does God have to fear? Nothing. And I know this. So when I would see people um, with masks, I would kind of back away. And I didn't even realize it till today. It was a subconscious backing away. Um, and it wasn't a judgment. But I was actually backing away from their fear. Because me, for me, the symbol of that mask equals fear. And I have no fear in me. So I would try to avoid people with masks. And each time I went out, more and more and more and for people. First, there was only a few. I live in the Poconos. And there was only a handful of people at first wearing masks. And then it gradually, each week, it was more and more and more and more and more. So here's the... the uh, mainstream news was really doing its job because each week people got more and more and more afraid. Hey, hey, that's what they do. Hey, it's all good. Hey, like I said, uh, I have no problem with the person wearing a mask. But to me, it's not happening. <laughs> I'm not wearing a mask. Like I said, it's a symbol of fear. I have no fear in me. Um, I'm doubtful if there is even a coronavirus virus 19. There are plenty of viruses. There are plenty of flu viruses. There are plenty of coronaviruses. There's, there's always been viruses. There's always been bacteria and viruses and, oh, please, let's start, let's talk about pollution, pollution and chemtrails, okay? And on um, GMO foods. Uh, to me, GMO foods are way, way worse for you than a virus. And this is my heart speaking and my soul and my spirit, which has never stared me wrong. Now, I, again, you do you. You want to wear a mask? More power to you. I am not handing over my rights and my freedom. I'm not wearing a mask. I'm not putting on a symbol of fear when there's not an ounce of fear in me. I know that. I am more powerful than any virus. Illness cannot touch me unless I give it permission to. And I don't give permission to illness at all because I know who I am. And I know many of you and many people on the planet don't. And that's okay. No judgment. But I do. I know who I am. I am a divine being of light. Nothing happens to me. Nothing comes into my body without my permission. I am all powerful. Okay. Now, getting back to the mask thing. Okay. So my neighbors call me. It's like, you gotta go. No, I gotta go. No, not me, not me. Now, here's the thing. I live alone. So it's not like if Kyle's not here. I mean, Kyle would, hey, if Kyle was here, he'd go to the store for me. And he'd put on the mask because he's like, you know, hey, what the heck. But Kyle's not here. I live alone. I have no one to go to get groceries for me. So I wrote a letter to Governor Wolf explaining my stand. And I posted that letter on Facebook. Now, I got several very unkind comments. Basically, the comments were uh, trying to impose their belief, their fear, and their will over me. That's exactly what those comments were. Because nothing I'm doing is harming anyone. I use the hand sanitizer when I walk into a store. I keep my distance when I walk into a store. Actually, now, last time I went into the store was two days ago. And like I said, most of the people were wearing masks. And again, I, I really stay away from them. But there were still a handful of people not. And actually, I was kind of giving them thumbs up. Like, okay, because I'm thinking they might be away. They're not wearing a mask. Okay, this is me. And I'm not going to change me, who I am, for what I believe in, for anyone. I'm not hurting anyone if I go shopping without a mask. 
if anything, for those who quote unquote believe that there's a dangerous virus that is attacking everybody, the only one I'm putting in jeopardy is myself, nobody else. I have nothing but love for everyone. I have no judgment for anyone who is in a state of fear, but I am not gonna allow someone to put that fear on me. I'm not gonna allow a person or a government I'm not letting anyone put fear on me. I have nothing to be afraid of because I am in control of what enters my body, my vehicle. Now, as far as my experience thus far of this shutdown and pandemic, I live on the cul-de-sac in the Poconos and the kids on my block are act acting like it's summertime. They, as long as the sun is out, now we've had a lot of snow actually this past week, so they have been inside because of the weather. But as soon as the, as soon as the kids were out of school, they were outside playing, running up and down, up and down, up and down, no masks, no gloves. All the kids, there are like 10 kids on my block, running up and down, playing all day long. Um, when I do go out, I see fathers playing catch in the front yard with their sons. And I'm thinking, as I'm passing and seeing this, I'm thinking, oh, how nice. Now he wouldn't be home playing catch with it. If the kid would be in school and he would be at work. So that's so nice. You know, they, the more father-son time. This is what I'm seeing. This is my experience. We all have a different experience. I don't know one person, quote unquote, who has died from the coronavirus, not a one. Okay, my neighbors are going about life as normal, but actually not as normal because they're home and they're spending more time with their kids. The kids are outside, they're playing, they're getting more fresh air. The only place I go, I'm home, are I like to go to the lake. And when I go to the lake, I'm all by myself and I meditate, I read, I uh, journal, that's my place. Um, and if I need to get groceries, I need to get groceries. So. Basically, back to the letter. <laughs> the letter I wrote to Governor Wolf was asked, explaining to him my stand. I'm not allowing my rights to be just taken away from me. Imagine if Rosa Parks decided, okay, I'll just get up and go to the back of the bus. No, you're not taking away my rights. I know my human rights. I know the Constitution. Matter of fact, someone even said to me yesterday, forget the Constitution. I'm like, are you kidding me? You mean this this fake news has got you to the point where you're saying, forget the Constitution? That was actually said to me yesterday. But anyway, getting back to my point here of this video, I have nothing but love and respect for everybody on the planet. And I have never, I have never said an unkind word to anybody. I get sometimes I've like I've, I've been doing my show now for over five years and sure I get unkind comments. You know where unkind comments come from? If you're not kind, if you only have two places to come from with a comment from a place of love or a place of fear. So if you can't give a comment kindly and respectfully, you're coming from fear. So I get unkind comments every now and then, and I'm, I always reply to every comment with love and respect. When I say every, I'm talking, especially like YouTube, I try to reply to all those comments on YouTube, and I always come from a place of love. I had several people actually apologize and remove their comment after I replied to their comment, their unkind comment with love and respect. And so yesterday, my Facebook, um, when I shared the email, or yeah, it was an email. When I shared the email that I wrote to Governor Wolf, I got a lot, I got some support. Yeah, thumbs up, you know, all that, which is great. But the comments, most, most of the comments were not kind. And it was only people in a state of fear trying to impose their will and their fear and their belief on me. Again, I don't, there, even if there is a virus, it's no bigger than, it's not, no different than the flu. That's my belief, okay? Um, so I'm not wearing a mask to say I'm fearful. I'm not fearful of a thing. So 
I am staying inside. I've done everything that I've been asked to do. I'm staying inside. I use the hand sanitizer. I keep my um, social distance, social distancing. All of that I am doing. I, you don't want me near you. I don't want to be near you. Believe me. But I am not going to wear a mask. That I'm not doing. I'm not having all of my rights just stripped away and just hand them over. Oh, yes, I'm in the state of fearing. Oh, yes, let me just give you my rights. Just take them. Take them. You know, the, 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 the uh, cabal, they're so clever. <laughs> they're so clever. It's like, hey, we could easily get them to hand over our rights. Just put them in a state of fear like we've been doing for centuries. Fear, that's their, and right now, for the cabal, that's their only weapon, is fear. And I've been saying since day one, this is not a pandemic of a virus at all. This is a fear pandemic. So, I wanted to share this with my listeners, and I'll definitely be sharing this on Facebook. Um, so I am going to wait. I, I sent it, uh, email Friday, last, yesterday, uh, late in the afternoon to the governor's office. Uh, don't know if I'm going to get a reply or not, but I live alone. I have to eat and I'm not wearing a mask. Bottom line. Okay. Love you guys. Really do. Really do. Oh, other thing I want to say, I have to share with you this because Dr. Bruce Lipton, who is a former guest of mine, and I know Dr. Bruce Lipton's work very well. He and Dr. Batar, who is a new name for me. Dr. Batar is a medical doctor, and he has very, he feels very similar to how I feel, which makes me feel good, because he's a medical doctor. I've had several medical doctors on my show, and I definitely would love to have Dr. Batar on my show. But uh, Dr. Bruce Lipton and Dr. Batar has um, posted a video for today in regard to this weekend, how important it is to do a mass meditation at 11 a.m. and 11 p.m. your time. So they're trying to do mass meditations, especially this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, 11 a.m., 11 p.m., your time. So I definitely, I discovered that video early this morning. I definitely did the meditation at 11 a.m., my time, Eastern. And I will be doing it 11 p.m., my time, Eastern, this evening. Same thing for tomorrow. But I will do that meditation every day. Uh, 11 o'clock in the morning and 11 o'clock p.m. are good times for me just to stop what I'm doing and do meditation for unity global unity oneness peace love healing for the planet and i will be doing that but i will share the link to that video um with dr bruce lipton and dr um batar uh, he's like i said he's i'm getting trying to get used to his name and anyone that's familiar with my show is used to me having trouble with names but but dr batar batar and Bruce Lipton, the link will be below. Check it out and try to meditate. Mass meditation is wonderful. But even if you are medit meditating in your own time and space, does meditation for the planet does wonders. And right now, this is truly what we all need to do. We're stuck at home. Let's meditate more, send positive vibes out to the world and to Gaia. Another great thing that is happening during this time of pandemic is Mother Earth is healing herself because we're not stomping all over her as much. <laughs> so that I, I, I hear news and reports of how Mother Earth is healing herself so quickly, so easily. Mother Earth is healing herself. So again, I, um, I wish everyone always, 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 always um, love, peace, joy. Um, go within, tap into what resonates, 
as truth for you. I never ever told anybody to adopt what I believe. I always encourage people to go within and tap into the truth with inside them because that's the only place truth lies. lies. The only place you can find truth is within you. No place else. It's inside of you. Tap into your truth and live your truth. And that's what I am doing. So thank you again. I love you all. Peace and love. Namaste.